First at six, a tense day at a local high school. Police stopping a teen who brought a loaded gun to campus. We have learned that teen is a former student. The scare put Coral Springs High School on lockdown for part of the day. Thankfully, the situation ended without anyone getting hurt. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live at the school with more on what happened. Carrie. Ruta Bay and Rick, Coral Springs Police made it clear that they believe that former student who arrived here on campus with a loaded gun had a specific intention on the campus today. They have not revealed what they believe that intention is, but I just spoke to the public information officer a couple of minutes ago, and she told me they anticipate releasing more information on that within the hour. In the meantime, this was a very scary situation on campus today. Coral Springs Police took a former student from Coral Springs High School into custody Monday afternoon. We're told the two female students told school police the teen had a gun in his waistband in a school parking lot. And those girls did, you know, what we hope students do is they don't just shrug it off, walk away, or, or not tell. They immediately notified our law enforcement, and in the end, it, it resulted in, a, in an outcome that was positive. Police tell us they are questioning the former student and two others. The school was placed on lockdown, and it was a code red situation where students rush to their classrooms, stay quiet, and stay low out of view through doors and windows. They're trying to make a safe environment for everybody. So basically, yeah. they're, just, they're, they're watching out for all of us, making sure none of, none of us get hurt. Some students took the situation in stride. Others prepared for the worst. Let me stay alive, please. <laughs> I, don't have time. I don't have time to be dying. Not right now. I'm too young. Police are still trying to sort out the intentions of the teen with the gun. There will definitely be more information coming out as to uh, his intentions, but um, we definitely averted a tragedy today. We do not know the specific charges this former student will face. Again, the public information officer for the police department told me they anticipate revealing more information about all of this within the hour. We did speak to some students who know this former student. One told me that he's been known to have some very significant problems at home. A couple of other students said he either dropped out of school last year or simply left the school. We're waiting on more details from the police. We'll bring that to you later this evening. Live in Coral Springs, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News. Carrie, thank you.